In this video by Maven Asset Management, we're going to review 14 tips for using the 14-day IBM Maximo Application Suite trial. This is a free trial that is available to you, and if you need information on accessing it, just Google IBM Maximo Application Suite free trial. Once you register for the trial, IBM will send you a username, password, and a link to access the information. So the way that we've set up the 14 tips is to break them down into the two products that you have access to with the trial, Maximo Health and Maximo Manage. So we have seven tips for each one of these product lines, and let's head on over to the demo and show you these. Okay, excellent. I've signed into my trial instance, and our first tip is on the tour. When you first enter Maximo Application Suite, it's going to prompt you to take a tour. You can choose to take a tour then or take it later. Also, at any time, if you do want to take it later, just simply click Take a Tour and five options display. These options are excellent at helping you get familiar with the navigation and also the data within the application suite. The second tip is actually where are you in the Maximo application suite? This may be confusing because when you see this page, you might not realize what product you're actually in. The product you can always see is on the top left-hand toolbar and you're actually brought initially to Maximo Health. You can change to Maximo Manage and we'll do that or you can always log back to the application suite. But it's important as you work through the products in the application suite always to look on the top left-hand toolbar to know where you are. Now let's explore the health applications. In the trial, you're granted access to three, assets which displays by default, locations, and work queues, and I simply navigate them by using the menu on the far left-hand side. It's important to note that there are additional health applications, but with the trial, these are the three that you're granted access to. When I open up any of the applications, just like in Core Maximo, I can see a list tab field, and I can click on an individual number to see the details. I'd highlight that when you're using the app, different applications in health, it's really important to find an asset that has data behind it. It just makes the experience so much more interesting. So for example, if I bring up our centrifugal pump 11430 that we often use in Maximo, when I click on its details, notice here I don't really have a lot of information, so it's not as uh, exciting or engaging experience. What you'll find in health is if you do want to view a lot of data, bring up a PMP. So I simply search on PMP and notice all these PMP devices display. They have health and criticality scores. If I open up the first one, for example, I can now start to see that the attributes of associated to the health of this asset, health, criticality, risk, et cetera, they're populated and I can have a much more engaging experience. Queries are known as views in asset health, and this is tip number four. And if I can see by default, I'm looking at all of my assets that are here and I can navigate down through the various queries, but what's important that we wanna highlight is that you scroll up. Once you scroll up, notice there's this tab or this uh, content here called Manage Queries. If I select Manage Queries, what I'm actually seeing are the Manage or Maximo queries that I created in the asset application. And you can see things that you might be familiar with. There's pumps, there's uh, aging assets, and I can see right away if they're public or if they're private. And I have a flag that I can toggle between that. So this is really highlighting the interaction between Maximo Manage and Maximo Health. Really nice ways to explore there in the queries. So in the fifth tip, I wanna navigate down here to our health work queues. So what is a work queue? A work queue is a collection of assets that might be related for a particular attribute. So in this case, I have a low health queue. And if I look at this, I have five assets in that particular category. 
Maybe I have some assets that are missing criticality scores, or you can see the other categories here. Now there's a couple of things that I can do with my cues that are so interesting. I can open them up and now I can see the five individual assets. I can see, you know, various attributes related to them, health, criticality, etc. And I can open up any one of those to see the tiles with the details. I should also highlight, you can scroll down below here. If there is data for those, you will see that information. For example, in maintenance history, operational status, et cetera. Well, let me come back to my low health and show you another thing that I can do if I click right here, is now I can open up the first asset. So I open up the first asset, it brings me directly to that page and I can then navigate through to find that information. So now in tip six, we're going to start to actually take some actions in health instead of just viewing information. So to do that, like we do in Maximo Manage, is we follow the blue button. So I simply am going to click on that, and you can see all the options available to me. Create a service request, work order, plan. Let's create a plan. So what is a plan? It's telling me this is my particular asset. It's a fire extinguisher, and I'm going to you know, pretend here that based on information, I recommend replacement for this fire extinguisher. So I come down here to take my option. My option is replace. What kind of date do I want? I want this done by, let's say, the middle of April. Perfect. Is there any downtime? Is there capital or operating expense? I'm going to say it's $250. And then adjusted end of life. Um, we'll just put a date here of the 20. 28th, and I'm going to say go ahead and create following that blue button. So now to find that plan that I created, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look under replacement planning. Let me go ahead and open that up. I can see a lot of details here, and here's the one that I created. This is the one where I said I'm going to replace it on 414 $250. So that's the health plan that you have available within health. Now in tip number seven, we're going to start to highlight even more interactions with Maxmo. And now I'm going to actually create a work order. Now I'm going to see that this is a uh, simplified view of a work order. So I'll call it that just so we can find it when we create this simple work order for the asset. And I'm going to say our description is um, please investigate. This is a corrective maintenance work order. Where is CM right there? Perfect. Priority, it's not a two, let's make it a, a three. And then I'm not really concerned about the, when they start it, what I want to make sure is they finish it by the 31st. And then this is really nice too. I have the ability to go ahead and associate a Maximo inspection form. Really powerful functionality here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that work order and it tells me my work order is created. And now I'm gonna open up maintenance history. That's Scroll down so you can see that. And here's our simple work order for the asset that we put in. So now we're going to start to move into our tips for Maximo. And the best way to do that in tip number eight is to actually look at this work order in Maximo. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that all of a sudden I'm going to see a new window appear. And this window might be more familiar with you. But again, if you're ever not sure what product you're in, look on the top left-hand side and you can see it says Manage. Maximo has been renamed to Manage in the Maximo application suite. I'll probably still refer to it as Maximo. Sorry, that's just a, a habit I have. So again, now we're in Manage. I can see that individual work order. I can make changes to it. Um, this is our demo, whatever I might need to do, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. I want to take you back though to health just to show you other ways that you can access manage from health. One of the ways is on this top right hand side, there's an app switcher button. If I click on that and select manage, that will also directly take me to manage. In this case, what it's doing is it's bringing me to the start center versus I went previously from launch and context. So now what I want to do is move into some of the other updates in Maximo Manage, and I'll just call it Maximo for now. 
So I want to go back to work order tracking and a few quick things over here is my menu on the left hand side. I could access work order tracking from my recent applications or from the work order module. Let me grab it over here and go to work order tracking and bring up that particular work order that we had, which was 1685. As I bring up the work order, again, very familiar functionality, click on it from the list tab and it brings up the details. I can see all my tabs over here and there's also an overflow menu that I can navigate from my tabs and information. So one of the UI changes that I'm gonna highlight, we're gonna actually demonstrate it for you over here on the plans tab. I'm actually gonna collapse that section and focus over here on the task. So if you remember in Maximo 7.6 in the early releases, whenever we wanted to add a child row, we would add a new row functionality. And you can see right here that functionality has been replaced by the plus button. So if I simply click on the plus instead of new row, I come in here and I'm just gonna put in my individual tasks, investigate, perfect. Let me collapse this menu so you can see more what I'm doing. I can scroll over here and again, add more information, just building on tasks, using that plus button, uh, say repair and close out work. Very, very simple. And after I've done that, I simply come up here to click save. Now we wanna highlight another change that we've seen with Maximo in mass, and that's tip number 10, where we're gonna look at our queries. To highlight that, let me come back over here to our list view and I'm gonna clear out that 1685 work order we were looking at. So if you remember on Maximo 6, when we're looking or working with our queries, we do all our actions over here on the left-hand side. And I can navigate between my different queries in mass as I can show here, but what, what happened if I wanted to create a new one? Maybe I wanted to do an advanced search. That again is no longer available on the left-hand side, it's over here on the right. If I click on the magnifying glass, I could find that individual work order record that I'm looking for. But importantly, if I click on the hamburger button, three dots, it opens up to, to a now show those query features and functionality I'm avail or familiar with. Well, let's grab, um, let's first make sure that I'm looking at all work orders, great. Let's open up our advanced search, which it's actually more search, not advanced search, sorry about that. And let's just bring up something simple. Let's say we want to look at our PM work orders and now filters down to 278. Now, if I want to save that, I'm going to come and save this at save my query name, PM work. I'll make it public, anybody who wants to see that. And I'll just call that my PM, whoops, work orders. Follow the blue button, save my record. Now, when I come and look at my view managed queries, I can see that PM work that I've just created. So again, it's just a matter of getting used to the differences, shifting from the left over here to the right to access functionality that we're all familiar with. Okay, great. Now let's start exploring some new functionality in Maximo, and that's going to be tip number 11. We're going to explore role-based applications. What are role-based applications? They are the replacements to work centers. They're based on a new technology, a new platform. They offer great configuration capabilities, reusable components, etc. But how do you find them? Well, the easiest way is to come over here to your menu. Let's open up the work order module and notice there's a new category called role-based applications. If I open that up, I can see there's an inspection. So this is the replacement for the Perform Inspection Work Center. There's one for technicians, work approval, service request, and work orders. So we're gonna explore those in more detail, but the most important things is how do you even access them? Again, open up the work order module, scroll down to role-based applications, and you'll see them. So now in tip number 12, we're gonna explore the service request role-based applications. Again, open up work orders, scroll down to role-based applications and select service requests. So again, think of this service request role-based application as the replacement for the service request work center. It's just based on a different platform. A Couple of key things to note on your navigation on the far left-hand side, here are my active requests. You can see I have 22 records. I can look down to completed request. Oops, nothing's been completed. So I'll scroll back up here to our active request. And now I have those 22 records. But how do I create a new service request? Again, what the, the design focus here is 
focus on the blue button, right? Look for that blue button, select plus. Now you might remember this from the different categories. I can go ahead and select ceiling and air. It's too hot. And again, I'm just going to follow the dialog to create my individual information. If I wanted to add my location, service address, etc., I'm going to call this hot heating and air demo. This is tip number 12. Excellent. Oops, Let's spell this right. Tip number 12. Excellent. And I go ahead and submit just following that blue button. Now I want to highlight in tip number 13, a brand new role based application. So let me come back over here to Maximo. And now I'm going to access my role based applications. But in this case, I'm going to select work orders. And what this role based application is doing is presenting a very simplified view of work orders. I can see that I have many of the common fields that I have on my core list tab of work order tracking or quick reporting. I can see my work order number and if I open up any one of those I can see my details. But notice the view. It's very, very different. I have my fields that are, I am familiar with. I don't have all of the tabs, just some of them, summary uh, work logs, if there's any information, workflow assignments, etc. But also, look at this really nice dialogue, right? So I can start to see the progression of this individual work order as it goes through um, its, its process. And I can so do sorting, I can do filtering, all that great information. If I bring up 1000, see a lot more information. In this case, I can see my individual asset. But wow, what a different view of work orders that are is available to me. One of the really neat things that I want to show you about this new role based applications is my ability to create a new work order. But as I do this, let's see how different this is. What a different view. And that's what I'm going to call my uh, my description here. What a different view of a work order. And I can have all those fields that I'm familiar with my work type again, different, different view from traditional Maximo really nice. Um, very modernized, I would say, and I'm going to go ahead and just create that. So it gives me my work order number 1686. And then if I come back over here to work orders, let's see if we can find him 1686. Perfect. There he is. What a different view of work orders. So a lot of great functionality to explore in this new work order role based application. You can find it directly under role-based applications under the work order module. So the last tip today from Maven Asset Management on the application suite trial is to explore. Explore the functionality. Explore additional role-based applications, all the apps that you see over here in Maximo. Yes, not all of the apps are enabled, but there's a really good collection to choose from. Also, you know, drill deep down deeper into health. You know, take one of these OEM pumps that you see right here on the Mar Maximo Start Center. And I'm just going to simply do a copy and paste here. And now let me see if I can go over there to health and find this particular asset. And this is the thing that's really going to help you learn, right? So I can try to come here. Let me bring up my magnifying glass. Let me bring up that PMP device. Click on it. And now I can really start to delve into the details of this device here in health and see that close linkage between Maximo and health. This one particularly has a lot of great data in it. Scroll down, look at all the charts, the health history available, open up that maintenance history so we can see those work orders that were generated in Maximo or in health, but really view the details. So we hope you have enjoyed this video. We encourage you to try out Maximo application suite and thank you very much for your time.